What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gus and for this video we're gonna be basically going over the second variant of the slosher weapon classes. So in this video we're gonna be going over the slosher deco, machine neo, tri nouveau, blob deco, dread ringer d, and custom explosher. If you haven't seen part one where I cover the vanilla variants the link will be in the description below but yeah feel free to watch these in any orders that you would like if you enjoy this type of content feel free to give that like and subscribe. I do also want to thank you guys for getting me to 5k subscribers. I really do appreciate that and I just hope you guys really enjoy this type of content and yeah sloshers are really awesome and I like making content and talking about this weapon class. Without wasting any more time let's get straight into the gameplay. Before even going into my match I kind of want to talk about the gear and the abilities that I'm using. So similar to the slosher, you're basically relying a lot on QR. QR is basically since you're fighting a lot and you're engaging in those type of fights where you're trying to set up things for your teammates so they could potentially pick them off or you could potentially get an assist from it. QR is just there in case you die and it just brings you back to the fight. You have your basic utility builds, some special power up just for the zip caster and some swim speed just to help out with the movement. I think it's completely okay to use comeback if you wanted to, but I'm just going to go with the extra QR. I don't know if I'm going to have a cooler player on my team throughout. All right, for our first game, it looks like we got Flounder. <laughs> this will be interesting. There's some really awkward Zipcaster spots here, but we'll try to make it work. I will say that this weapon isn't the best competitively. May probably because of Dart, it's not the best. But Marker does combo well with the Slosher, so if you throw one dart and you throw a 70, it combos with it. And then Zip is just really fun for this weapon. Can we hit somebody? We get this, yeah. Nice. So I'm trying to see who's here. Okay. Okay, we got one there. And it looks like we're just waiting for the Stamper. I don't know where the Stamper is. Oh, nice. Nice shot. Okay, there's someone coming here. We can get that. Nice. Nice kill. I'm gonna zip here. I think we kill this? Yeah, nice. So one thing about Zipcaster is that it's still able to do damage to things like Inkvac. If you just hit them in the right location. Okay. Flounder is also very snowbally, so as long as you keep them locked out, they can't really do anything. So I kind of see this person trying to go up here. Okay, I hit him once. Okay, they're dead. Oh, that hit me, but it's fine. My teammates were able to sweep that up. And we'll probably get this kill here. Yeah, nice. We'll probably play another game. This was too one-sided. Okay, yeah, we'll do another one. Oh, we got the uh, kind of a combo. We got an assist. <laughs> we'll do another game. Uh, that was pretty fast. I think that was like two minutes, it seemed. But yeah, with this one, you know, you mainly try to engage in fights. You use Zipcaster to get you in and Marker to combo. All right, awesome. We were able to get Hagglefish this time. Hopefully it won't be that one-sided, but I'm not counting on it. Okay, just looking at our comp, we do have a cooler player, so... I'll likely wait for me to get some cooler before engaging in a fight. Most of their weapons look like they can outrange me, so we'll, we'll pay attention to that. Okay, the cool thing about Marker is that it's able to locate people, like if it was a point sensor. But it doesn't last that long. So you mainly try to use it for the combos. Unless you have like downtime. And you're kind of like not doing much. Okay, nice. One of my teammates got something. I was going to wait for the cooler. Oh, nice. Zuka shot. I'll probably try to zip here. See if I can probably distract. Okay, we got a kill there. That was worth it because... I mean, it delays their push a little bit. I also recommend zip casting behind a location where the enemy team can't see the area. Nice combo there. 
Slosher also does 70 damage, so it combos mostly with every weapon. So, always try to play in like in a team fight. And I'm I'm telling you that Slosher as a main weapon is just really good given how it performs with you see, right there. My dynamo hit him once and I just got it to finish it off. So we're gonna probably do the same here. I don't think they're gonna cap here. We're probably gonna have another fast game. But given that we already played two weapons, we'll probably move on to the next one. It just happens to be splat zone. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Basically what you wanna do with this weapon is fight, 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 fight. If if that's not the message you're getting from this, then this is the message. Fight with this weapon a lot. Alright, let's go to our next weapon. Next up, we have the tri Slosher Nouveau. And this one is a really fun kit. Um, I'm a big fan of Tacticooler as a special. I've been a big fan of it since the launch of Splatoon 3. And Fizzy Bomb is actually my favorite sub in the entire game. Basically, our gear is centered around being a supportive player. The cool thing about Tacticooler is that once you get the cooler drink, you're able to go in and fight. So you have your basic utility subs. You have some Ink Saver main sub to help with the Fizzy Bomb, which combos with the LDE when it's maxed, and your special charge. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, we got Flounder with tri Slosher. <laughs> so hopefully it's not completely one-sided. But we'll see if it needs to be a second game again, but I don't think so. I already look at the top is that they have a bunch of ninja squid, so I need to be careful of people that are sharking. Looks like they're already able to cap a zone. I'm trying to get a cooler for my team. Okay, nice. Looks like my teammates are able to pick things off. Got one here. We're able to clean up for my teammate. And we're probably going to be able to cap zone here. There was someone there, but they kind of just ran into my shots. I'm going to throw cooler because there's a, there's a roller there. I don't want to engage until I have something clear to fight with. We could get this guy. Got this guy. Okay, this is a really good spot for tri slosher. Because you could see over and you could slosh over. So if you're ever playing Flounder Zones, that's a really good spot to take. I'm going to shark here. Wait for someone to come up the ramp. Okay, there's someone here. There's one down. Nice, we got the assist with my teammate. Okay, someone's trying to fight me. We're able to get them again. Oh, nice. For some reason, I didn't look up. <laughs> and I didn't get the kill, but it's okay. I'm gonna get up here again. There's someone over here. Yep, I hit him once. Oh, I opened my map and they were already dropping. But it's okay. My teammates could clean it up, I think. Yeah, <laughs> they got Clash Blast. Okay. Looks like we might... Okay, I might need to give up the zone here. Which is okay. You guys get more playing time with this weapon. Okay, so I'm gonna flank here. Find a good opportunity. Oh, and the dually was respawning. That was my bad. I probably should have paid more attention to my back. Okay, at this point, I have a lot of pain in my spawn. I'm going to get a cooler for my team. Because Flounder is a very snowball-heavy map. And things can go pretty sideways if you let things kind of run loose. I'm going to take this route to see if there's anybody here. Okay. It's okay if I trade, but looks like I didn't, which is lucky for our part. I'm just going to neutralize for now. Oh, they were in the zone. Okay, that works in our favor. Okay, I'm going to hurry quick to get the zone because this is my priority. There's someone over there. I'm going to fizzy it. Hopefully make them move on the left side. Okay, cool. Okay, I have cooler. I need to give it to my teammates. I'm going to spam this way so they know that it's there. I'm going to go in and fight. There's someone behind us, but I don't have time to look at them. I'm going to hope my teammates can take care of that. Okay, nice. I'm just going to hold forward at this point. Probably try to distract. Get people to look at me. Over here, look at me, look at me. Okay, no. They're not looking at me. We're going to go chase them now. Okay. Oh, I almost whiffed that. There was some fall-off damage there. Okay, I'm going to have to trust my teammates can look forward. I'm going to shark here. 
Okay, nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to help them. Okay, okay. No, they're good. They're good. They're, they're good. I, I gotta trust my teammates, right, guys? Okay, I'm gonna throw a cooler for my Gluga here. We can get this guy. Nice. Nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get on this spot again. And booyah. Okay, no, this was a really good game. Okay. Started off slow, right? But you get the idea, right? With Tri Slosher Nouveau, you get your cooler, you play a little bit supportive. If you're close to the cooler, get it for your team before fighting. Once you get the cooler, then go fight. Go crazy, go bananas, whatever. This weapon is really good at taking people out. So use cooler to your advantage. Okay, moving on to the next bucket. For the next bucket, we're going to be using Sloshing Machine Neo. This is probably one of the current... Uh, I don't want to say meta picks, but given that Zook is really strong, this weapon does tend to be pretty popular among bucket players alongside the Vanilla Slosher. But we already talked about that one in the first video. But in terms of gear, it's similar to the Vanilla Slosher in that you focus on mobility. The only big difference is probably the special charge up. And that's because this weapon is a 190p special. So just giving two subs reduces it to i believe 181p so you'll get your trizookas even faster and yeah let's get straight into the games with this weapon okay <laughs> i was really hoping we were gonna get hagglefish if i'm being honest with you i tend to like trizooka on maps that are generally flat and as you could probably tell from the buildings this map is not flat uh we also have kara who's from a competitive team such as, or, oh, were they pinging? Oh, I didn't, okay. That distracted me a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't get me killed. It does end up getting me killed, but it's okay. My teammates pretty cracked and yeah, they're able to take care of it. They probably wanted a drip pick. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna throw some point sensors, potentially try to identify my, okay, it's two down. Point sensors are just going to be there to identify people. I need to live this. Okay, nice bubble on their end. Can't really engage much with the bubble. That guy's super weak. Okay, nice shot, whoever killed that. Oh, I thought that was dead. What are you doing? Okay. That was a weird crap spot, if I'm being really honest. I'm going to mark the... Whatever that weapon is called, the bow. Just because I want to know where they are, because I wanted to kill them with the Trizuka. As you can see, I traded with that, but it's okay. And it looks like my teammate Kara has the Trizuka ready, so we're going to be able to stall this fight out, I'm assuming. Nice. The cool thing about Machine is that because it has a huge hitbox, it combos really well with other weapons that are able to finish it off. The nerfs did hit help, you know, hurt this weapon, but... It's okay. I'm gonna Zooka here. I thought you were dead, but it looks like you didn't die. Okay. I was- I died there, but it looks like my teammates are gonna finish it off. Okay, we're probably gonna need another game here. <laughs> I wasn't really able to explain much about the weapon as much as I wanted to. So... It's okay, I, I like this weapon. It's one of my favorite weapons, so... I have a lot of favorite weapons that are generally sloshers, but yeah. If you don't know, uh, Kara from Duck Motif, really cool team. Check them out. Okay, yes, yes, we're able to get um, Hagglefish. This is really good. This is really good. Trizuka is really good here because it's a flat terrain, so you're able to see more of the enemies. And it looks like we have a pretty decent comp. It's pretty similar to there. So I want to say, I mean, they have a stamper, which ah, we have a zip caster. They have a zip caster. Okay. For my opening, what I like to do is throw some point sensors just to give a, an idea to my team where the enemy is. The bow is annoying. So we're going to try to poke over here. We hit them once and they're backing up. Okay. Nice. I like opening my map with this weapon because it has such a huge hitbox where if you hit them once, you'll probably have a good idea of where they are. Probably get this guy up here. Waiting my shot out. Okay, my teammates were able to finish it off. Nice. 
I'm gonna throw point sensors there. Give my teammates a better idea of what they're looking for. Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. See if I could get another pick. Oh, my point sensor didn't go through as I planned. There's someone over there. Looks like they're not dropping yet, which is smart on their part. Let's try to get this guy over here. I lived. I'm gonna heal first because I'm really weak and I'm getting targeted by the whales. Okay. I need to come back because it looks like my teammates are falling down. We were gonna get the zone, but it's okay. That just means more gameplay, right? Okay, I'm gonna throw. And then I'm gonna probably throw another point sensor and then I'll Zuka again. Okay, that's one down. The cool thing about this kit is that because Zookas are really popular, you could use your point center to give you a better idea of where people are at. Oh, there's a hammer. Oh, that's okay. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We have a hammer of ourselves and we're not gonna use it yet. But once they use it, it'll be really awesome, right? Looks like there's a zip caster. Oh, oh, wait, did you guys see that? That was really weird. Okay, they're all bunched up on the right side. I'm gonna flank on the left. Got one. Okay, got two. Where's the last one? Where's the chainsaw? Okay, hit him directly. Nice. Okay, this is a better game, right, guys? Okay, I'm close to Zuka. I don't want to die. I'm gonna focus on marking. And I'm gonna mark again. Right here. Okay, that's one down. There's someone straight ahead. Oh! The game didn't let me get the kill. It's okay. Two games, right? I think this is good enough for you guys to get a feel of what Neo Machine is supposed to do. But yeah, basically what you try to do is use your kit to identify where the enemy is and then use your main weapon and your special to take those opponents out. Point sensor is also really good for your teammates, so make sure to throw them. Now we have the Blob Lobber Deco, and this one comes with Marker and Kraken. I think this kit is better on Clam Blitz, but there's not a Clam Blitz rotation that's going to happen, I think. Well, and I want to record right now, right? But I think this weapon is really good in certain situations. It's not meta per se, but I think it's a pretty fun weapon. Basically for our gear, it's centered around painting because of the Ink Saver main and Kraken. So if you don't know, special power up increases the duration of Kraken and special charge up because I want to get my Kraken faster. So yeah, let's get right into it. Okay, we got Haggle. Okay, this is what I want. I, I want Haggle because Kraken is really good here. This is what I want, okay? Oh, we have two blobs on here. This is not, this is not part of the script, y'all. But <laughs> hopefully it won't be a knockout. If not, we'll have to play another one? Okay, there's someone around here. Oh, okay, it's the carbon. You gotta be careful with the carbon when they're in the ledges, but it looks like they left. Okay, I'm gonna crack it in a bit. Looks like we have a good hold. And I think I could get this guy. Yeah, nice. When your Kraken's about to run out, like when it's going red, like I said in previous videos of mine. Oh. Hold on. <laughs> that kind of surprised me. Oh, I thought that was going to kill you. Okay. I thought I thought they were weak enough where... Oh, God. Uh, I'm probably dead there. Okay, it's okay. When your Kraken is like turning red, it's probably a good idea for you to potentially get some good cover because there are some frames where uh, there is a bit of a vulnerability frame, if that makes sense. So basically there's a moment in time where you're really weak. Okay, I'm gonna get under here because the missiles don't reach me there. See if I can get someone here. Okay, I'm gonna crack him because I need to stay alive. Hopefully I can get this guy. Oh, where did they go? Oh, nice. My teammate was able to finish them off. I was able to hit them once. We got that guy right there. Oh, I didn't realize they were have. <laughs> I have another Zuka shot. That was probably my bad. I probably should have counted. But it's all good, guys. 
like I said, the longer the games, the more content you guys get, right? Okay, the carbon is there again. It looks like that's their favorite spot, so I'm not even going to bother trying to go there. Most of the time, as you can see from, like, what I'm doing, it's kind of painting for my team and primarily going in when I have Kraken to move the enemy in a direction that to help my teammates out. Most people try to hide from the Kraken. And... Oh, I thought that was gonna work there. I only hit them once. My teammate was able to fit them off. It's all good. It's all good. We're... I have a pretty good lead here. And we have pretty good painting weapons. Gonna paint from behind. Help out my dually. Give them much needed paint. Watch the flanks here. Looks like someone's trying to flank. Hit them once. Looks like that Carbon got tired of flanking on the left side, right? Ooh, you're probably dead. Yep. Unfortunate. Okay, I'm gonna wait until I get my Kraken. This guy's trying to rush me. Which... Okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna whiff that. Which is okay. They have cooler, so I'm gonna probably try to see if there's any jumps. Okay, I couldn't get that. Okay, nice. I at least keep them away because I damaged them with the marker. And... Okay, nice. I was able to track their movement based on the ripples of ink. But yeah, as you can probably tell from like the way I'm playing the blob, it looks like I'm mainly going in when I have Kraken. Because this weapon is able to paint really well. There's really no reason to engage in fights at the front as much. And... I might need a Kraken just to keep these guys away away from painting. Okay, they might Booya. Okay, there's a jump over here. Oh, I didn't get that kill. Okay, I'm gonna stay away. Okay, I wasn't able to get that kill, but... Eh, at least stalled enough, I guess, to give my teammates time. And now I have to deal with the Carbon. Nice bubble for my teammate. Okay, wait out these missiles. Ah, we could easily paint over this. I'm gonna throw sloshes over here to help out my teammate. Okay, they jump. Nice, nice. It's fine. It forces them out, and I keep my teammate alive because of that. Always try to pay attention to where your teammates are fighting. Blob is really good at assisting players. Actually, all sloshers are really good at assisting players, so always pay attention to who you're hitting. There's someone that I hit over there. And I think this is GG's. Yeah. Just gonna crack in for safety measure. And that's pretty much it. You weren't able to see a lot of marker combos. I think because of how slow the blobs travel, um, it's hard to hit those combos. But as you can see, the moments I did use them, it was either to track them or potentially damage them enough to keep them away. But yeah, it's a pretty fun weapon. Next, we have the Custom Explosher, which, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you will know that I am not the biggest fan of this kit. I think it's pretty weird, given that it's a backline and it has pretty much a frontline special, but nevertheless, I'm here to show you how to play it. We're basically going to use Comeback for this one because I feel like I'm going to die a lot with Triple Splashdown if people will Splashdown cancel me. And LD doesn't really make sense because it doesn't have a bomb. And I feel like I have enough ink saver main because this is an ink hungry weapon and swim speed because it is a heavy weapon. So yeah, let's go with this gear and let's find some games. Okay, we were able to get Flounder, which is okay. I probably would have preferred Haggle, but this is okay too. We could use the height advantage for some pretty cool splashdowns, I guess. Hopefully this is not a steamroll. Uh, we do have two backlines, so I'm assuming the other team might have a better chance. I'm gonna put a wall here. Try to paint over their zone. I feel like with this kit, you try to play a little bit more aggressively, at least compared to the other one. Given that it has a splashdown. Oh, I missed my shot. I'm gonna splash down here. Hopefully I could get that kill. Okay. They were able to get away. Okay, we made them jump. So now we're fighting a 2v2. I got that one kit. Hopefully my teammate can... Okay, I finished that off. Nice. Okay, I'm going to throw a wall down here. Because I want to create space for my teammates to move in. 
Okay, I'm gonna jump back. I probably should have jumped to my teammate near zone, but I pretty much picked what I saw. Okay, there's someone over here. I hit him once. Oh, I'm shooting the pillow. Nice. <laughs> Okay, it looks like this might be a Steve roll again. Okay. I'm gonna position myself over here. I feel like this is good for x -Blosher. Trying to block them out of the... Maybe I could get a cheeky splashdown kill. And we do. <laughs> I'm gonna jump back. I feel like it's super hard trying to climb up when an x is pretty much holding down the ramp. And there's a Kraken over there, you know, basically just destroying everything. Okay, that guy's super weak. Okay, nice. Okay, it looks like we might need another game, guys. I think this is just a curse of what, uh... Ow? I don't know. If... No, no, it's over. It's over. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna need another game, it looks like. Hopefully we can get something else. I feel like that was like a two minute game. So hopefully we can add another two minutes with this weapon. But I think you guys can basically see what I'm trying to do with it. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. Flame me in the comments. I know. I know. But guys, I, I don't really like... Okay, I'm going to keep my slosher reputation, okay? We're just going to move on. Dreadringer D. Okay. This weapon, I'm hoping we get Flounder because I think Flounder Zones is probably this kit's best map mode combination. But basically, it's kind of the same thing as the Reef Slider one. But rather than using like special, you know, special charge up with it or special power up, I should say. We're basically going to use sub power up for the beacons because it improves the jump speed for my teammates and i think that's pretty good wave breaker is just there quick respawn i think because you're going to be trying to fight a lot and come back i don't really see the need to use lde it doesn't have a bomb so we're gonna go with this oh <laughs> i thought we were gonna get flounder it's okay it's okay it's okay we'll, we'll try to put some good wave breaker spot i just think it's a better kit for the uh this kit is better for flounder but i think wave breaker here is still pretty good because you're able to put the uh the wave breaker behind the pillars and it looks like one of my other teammates has beacons as well so i'm gonna focus on painting try to get the cap first before even trying to engage hopefully i could get my uh my wave breaker as well i can't really push yet Okay, I can't really see. Oh. They were able to pick me off. You see, that's why I don't like Wave Breaker. It's just... It's get insta-deleted by weapons. But it looks like my teammates are able to handle this. Okay, nice. Put a beacon here. Hopefully we can get 90 damage this guy. Or at least make him back up. Nice. Nice. Trying to play in a little aggressive spot here. Got one. That guy's 90. Nice. My teammate finished him off. That guy's marked, so we're going to go ahead and pick them off. Nice. I'm going to put a beacon here. The good thing with beacons is that you're able to see people too. So, like, you see how with beacon, they're marked up there. And, yeah. Okay. They might push in here. I'm going to throw a wave breaker to identify people. Nice. Able to get people off. That guy's weak. I'm going to go in. Nice. That's one down. Okay, I might die here, but my teammates got me. Nice. I'm going to help him in the fight. Hit him once. Nice. I wish I wouldn't have whiffed that, but it is what it is. Oh, That's the final game. You guys are probably going to hate me because should I do another game? I mean, that was two minutes, guys.
I'll, I'll, I'll save it for another day. To be fair to the custom Explosher players, we're just going to do one that one Dreadringer game. Um, I know we got some bias towards the Slosher Deco and the Sloshing Machine Neo for getting two games, but um, those are just my favorite weapons, guys. I, I, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But I will say, if you want to see more of a specific weapon, just comment down below, like, what weapon do you want to see a fully dedicated video to? Not like a guide or anything, but just gameplay, like if you want me to use Dreadringer for a whole video, or Dreadringer D, I should say, just comment down below and let me know what you guys want to see. You guys are my audience. You guys are the ones that influence the way I make videos. And I listen to you guys. When you guys tell me you guys wanted guides for, you know, slosher weapons, I made those guides. And obviously, I'm still making the machine guides, but... Yeah, I listen. I look at the comments. I read your comments. And I appreciate any feedback that you're able to give me. Um, just given the brevity of the video and, you know, giving you as much basic information as I can, um, this will be the games that we go with. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what weapons you want to see more of in the future. As always, everyone, thank you so much for watching. And until next time.